Hey hi all welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how you can launch your web browser with the help of selenium web driver so this video is very basic it has very basic concepts but this is a very important video if you are a beginner so i'll go by very basic basic steps so that you understand it properly let's begin the video then let me show you a few important points here so the goal of our work is to launch the browser with the url with the help of selenium web driver so this is the automation we are going to do now right to achieve this goal what do we need we need the below points we need the selenium setup we need the browser that we want to launch we also need something called browser driver i'll be explaining you about this browser driver what is a browser driver why is it required i'll explain it to you about this while i am writing the code and finally we need the code so if you have all these things with you then you are ready to go to launch the browser with the help of selenium web driver so as i said you need selenium setup i assume if you have already configured or set up your selenium on your machine then you can go with this particular flow you will be able to launch the browser uh, the selenium setup i have already done on my system so i can uh, show you what i have done so this is my project i have created and uh, the reference libraries, the important libraries which are required to uh, to fulfill the Selenium setup is already there. You can see the Selenium, the version 4.2.2 I am using. These are all the jars that are required. Okay. So uh, if you are not uh, sure about how you can configure your Selenium uh, on your system, so I'll be creating a separate video on that. I'll be explaining you about all this in detail in a different video. So I assume you already have the setup ready with your system. So let's go with the browser launching part now so uh, let's begin then so i have my project with me here uh, so let me uh, create a, uh, i have already created the pack package for it i'm going to just show you one sample project so let me create a class under this package a sample uh, class which i can give uh, by the name uh, page launch you can give any name here so i'm going to select the uh, the java I'm creating a Java class. I'm going to select this public static void main, the main method here. But in the real case, uh, basically when you are writing test cases in Selenium web driver, so we do not have to select this, but it is just going to be a Java program, uh, which I'm going to uh, use uh, to showcase you how you can launch your browser. So I'm going to select this option here and click on finish. So as soon as I have uh, clicked on finish, you can see the, the class has been created. With the main method so i can remove this uh, line so let's go back to the uh, the goal what is the goal the goal is to launch the browser with the url right okay. there are certain piece of code we have to write to achieve this goal we are going to do it with the help of the web driver the selenium web driver so we have to first initialize the the selenium web driver and also you need to define that particular browser driver class okay so let me write the syntax for you and then I'll, I'll explain to you so let me write the syntax so the syntax here is uh, web driver driver equal to new chrome driver i'll explain in detail what is this line about why is it required why i have written like this why i have written this syntax in this particular format i'll explain you about that uh, before that let us see why i'm getting this but two errors on these two words okay i'm getting error on web driver i'm also getting the error on chrome driver right let's see let's mouse over on this and let's see what is the error so as you can see there are some quick fix available so it's giving me the option to in import the web driver so the error is I have not imported the web driver. So that is the reason I'm getting this particular error. So let me click on this import web driver. So as soon as I have clicked on this option, you see I have got a new line here. So it is imported successfully. So let me remove this line again. As you, as you can see, the error is coming back. So this is the purpose of uh, importing this from the Selenium web driver. Okay. So now uh, you have the another error that is on the Chrome driver. So let's mouse over on this so you can see there is an there is an option to import the chrome driver as well so let me import so as soon as i have imported you can see it has been imported you can see this line is created here so the errors are gone now what is this syntax about why is it required what i have done basically okay so uh, since you know that 
I am going to use, we are going to use the WebDriver. WebDriver it is playing an important role, right? So basically WebDriver is acting here as an interface and we are creating a WebDriver reference variable here. But WebDriver reference variable here is driver. I have just given a standard name format as driver. It can be of any name. You can give your name also. You can give ABCD anything. And next I have given equal to and I am creating an object for the Chrome driver class. Okay. Why I am creating this object? Why, what is the purpose of creating this object and why I am giving a keyword called Chrome driver? So friends, as you know, I'm going to launch the Chrome browser, right? So that is the reason I'm creating the object for the Chrome driver class. Because I'm creating this object by giving the reference to the web driver, which is my interface. Here, I'm actually here creating an object for the Chrome driver class because I'm going to launch the Chrome browser with the help of Selenium web driver. So I'm creating this object for the Chrome driver class by giving the reference to the web driver interface. Okay so that I can use all the WebDriver capabilities because WebDriver has lots of capabilities which is to be used in order to write the Selenium code and do the execution on the browser like uh, get title, get text, all this, right? So I have given the reference variable name here as driver so it can be of any name and let us see how it is able to launch the browser, okay? So this piece of code is ready now so let me run this code so right click on this piece of code, you can see a run as option is coming up. So this is going to be a simple Java application because there is no uh, test ng installed. It is a just basic format of a use case. So I'm going to just run it as a Java application. Click on Java application. So as soon as I'm running, it is not running it because I have not provided a very important point. Okay, and that is the the driver executable file I have not given. So that's the reason I'm getting this error. So let us see what, what is the error I'm getting. So I'm getting the path to the driver executable must be set by the webdriver.chrome.driver system property. So the meaning of the error is that I have not provided the chrome driver exe in my code. So that is the reason I'm getting this problem during the execution. I have one suggestion for you guys. So if you are a beginner or if you are working with, with Selenium code, if you are writing a code, you will definitely en encounter a lot of errors sometimes. So it is my suggestion that if you face this kind of error, you just do not get afraid, do not get scared of these errors because unless and until you face errors, you will not learn the concept deeply, you will not learn it properly. Okay, so if you are getting an error, just read the error and try to provide a solution to your, to your uh, problem by your, your own. You can Google it, you can uh, read the error, you can find the solution. It will come to you automatically. It will come to you if you explore more about the error. And you will also learn a lot of information from that exercise actually when you get this kind of error. Okay, so in my case, uh, I have not given the, uh, the Chrome driver exe. So let me download the file and provide it in my code. So how to do that? Let me show you. So I'll open my browser and I'll download the Chrome driver. You just type Chrome driver. Here's a link. You click on this Chrome driver link and you see a lot of versions are available here. More versions available for download, right? So you can see the Chrome driver 103.0.5060 again 102.0.5005 so make sure that the chrome driver whichever you are downloading that should match with your version of the chrome browser okay it should match with the version of your chrome browser so in my case let me see the what is the version i'm using so i'm using 102.0.5005 so in my case i have to download this particular version okay if i download a very older version it will not match with the version of my Chrome browser. So it will give error. It will still give me error. So in my case, I'll download this Chrome driver. So I can see a lot of operating systems uh, files here. Okay, I have Linux, I have Mac, I have uh, Windows. So in my case, I'm using Windows. So for Windows for 64 or 32, you have to use this particular zip file. You download this zip file, it will work. So you click on this zip file. You get uh, this zip file. I have already downloaded on my system. So uh, I'll show you how you can give the path of this particular.exe file. You have to unzip this file basically and you have to 
you will get the exe file that exe files location you have to define in your code uh, as you can see the error is telling that you have not set the system property right you have not set a system property okay let me set the system property what is syntax for this is system dot set property okay if you if you enter system and click on dot and just type set you get a lot of methods are used let me set property one okay which has key and value pairs so what is the key for this you in double quotes you give the key of this uh, particular driver okay that is web driver dot chrome you are working on chrome that's why you give chrome dot driver so this is going to be your key and you have to provide a value what is the value value should be the file the dot exe file which you have downloaded the location of the dot exe whichever is there in your system okay so the location of my driver executable file is there so you can see this is my location of the driver executable the chrome driver executable files location so this is the exe format of this file so i have kept here so i just need to copy this file location and then just paste in this uh, double quotes okay so my job is not yet done because i have to give the path till the name of the file with the extension so the name of the file is chrome driver let me copy this uh, make sure you write if you are typing make sure you type it correctly otherwise you will get errors so you have to give this uh, file location extension also along with the extension you have to give the path that is exe so once you have done the file location is set as you can see after i copied and pasted uh, this it is taking in double slash okay so this is how the file path is set in the system property now let me run this code let's see how it runs now i'm running this code now so you can see the chrome driver has started successfully i'm able to see the the browser is getting launched an empty browser we are our goal is to launch the browser with the url so we have been able to achieve the 50 percent of it we have been able to launch the browser but with the url we have to launch it now okay so you can see this browser is launched without any url because we have not given any url we have not defined the url here so let us give some url so how we can uh, set the url here so let me use the driver reference variable here which i have already given here and press dot and we have so many methods here right so you use the get method get string url okay so this is to launch the browser with the url let me provide one url here in double quotes you have to give the url the exact url format you have to give i'm giving one uh, valid url here www.webs.com you also have to provide the https if the website supports otherwise you might get an error okay so this is my url i'm going to uh, launch now with the browser so let me close this browser now let me rerun this code click on this code and click on run as java application so you see the browser is getting launched but now with the url which is webs.com because i have provided the url here driver.get url so that's the reason browser got launched with the url but i want the browser in a maximized format currently it is not in a maximized format it is just open in a minimized format right i want to maximize it okay how can we do that with the help of selenium web driver yes you can do that let me close this so uh, there is this let me clear this console log so for that we have a different method provided in the selenium web driver driver dot manage okay manage dot window because we are going to handle the window that the browser okay window and we are going to maximize it we are going to maximize it so this is the uh, line of code driver dot manage we are managing the window and we are maximizing the maximizing the window driver dot manage dot window dot maximize and let us run this code now you will see what is happening so the chrome browser is getting launched with the url webs.com okay after that it is going to maximize the window you see the browser window got maximized because this line of code got triggered that's the reason it is got maximized 
So let us change the reference variable to something else. I'm changing it to A and let's run this code and see whether it runs or not. So I have changed the reference variable to A and I'm running the code now. So as you can see, this is able to execute the code successfully. It is able to launch the browser and also disable to maximize the browser. So basically uh, this code will run with any reference variable. It is not mandatory to give the driver as a reference, reference variable. You can give any name, any value there, but uh, make sure that that goes in a similar fashion in the rest of the uh, places also. This is how you can launch your browser with the help of Selenium WebDriver. You just need a Chrome driver or the exe file. And in order to do other operations like providing the URL you have to do, driver.get and also you can maximize the window for that we have a different uh, methods here manage the window dot maximize so we have learned about uh, how to launch uh, the browser with the help of selenium with the url and we have learned about the, uh, the browser driver so this is how you can achieve this kind of uh, uh, use cases okay that's all about the video today and i'll be coming up with a new video a new topic if you have found this video useful please like the video and share with your friends and also please subscribe to my channel and i'll be creating more and more new new videos thank you thanks for watching have a nice day